Okay, Salman, there's just rumors coming out. I don't know if you've heard of this, that Crawford Khan did 150,000 pay-per-view buys. What did you make of? What did you make of that news? Do you think that's impressive? Do you think that's un oh. unimpressive? Um, it doesn't really say a lot about Terence Crawford's uh, pulling power in America. 150,000 pay-per-view buys. It's not even about Terence Crawford. Even Amir Khan's name has slid down in America now as well because he hasn't been fighting yeah, in but, America and he hasn't fought for so many years. Yeah, Khan's but, not a big name in America anymore. No, no, but you've His got name's to, not the guy to, that... Listen, you've got to understand that. You know, here's the thing. Amir Khan wasn't the main attraction. It was Terence Crawford. He was the one that was supposed to pull in the numbers. There you go. So... Terence Crawford's not big in America Ter either. Terence Crawford's not a big name. None of them are but big Crawford, names. But here's the thing. Spence v. Garcia did 350,000 pay-per-view buys. That's because they had the Mexicans behind. Mexicans, they, they, they follow their fighters. They don't... That was a way bigger fight. That's a way... Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia is a bigger fight than Khan versus Crawford. Mm -hmm. Khan versus Crawford. Khan's not a really big name. Mate, Spence is not really a big name. But Mikey Garcia has a whole of Mexico. So that, that and, you know, Spence... You know, I don't even think Spence and Crawford might not do that good numbers. I don't think they're both they're both unknown fighters. Mm. They're both unknown. I don't think that does. Do you good. think? Do you think? Okay, just say Spence and Porter. Do you think that does big numbers? <laughs> no, mate. Spence and Porter. Like, that's like you go down the streets of flipping California and be like, do you know who Errol Spence is? They'll be like, oh, is that an NBA player or something? Last time, mate, people don't even know who Deontay Wilder is, man. He's a heavyweight champion. Bro, they world. don't even know who De Deon. Do you know who's famous in America? Like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, fighters like that. Not like Errol Spence. They'll be like, who's that? A hockey player or something. They'll be like, is that a soccer player? Like, it was funny, like Eddie Young was going down the street. And he's like, oh, do you know who Deontay Wilder is? And he's like, oh, no, is he a football player or something? Like, they don't know who Deontay Wilder is. Like, like it's like if you go down the street here and be like, do you know who Wayne Rooney is or Anthony Joshua? Or someone of that status or like Lineal Messi or something? They'll be like, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, but I reckon I reckon Lineal Messi is more famous in America than Deontay Wilder. Yeah, I've, definitely, mate. Lineal Messi. Yeah, so, he's like a <laughs> mate, like Ronaldo. Forget Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a he's even famous than Messi. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is that's fairly poor for a guy that's meant to be pound for pound king in Terence Crawford to do only do hundred and fifty thousand pay per view buys. It's fairly poor, and it shows that he's not a big star. It shows that you know he, you know they've got to really promote him a lot more. But I think Terence Crawford doesn't help himself. Terence Crawford doesn't do a lot of media. He's not outspoken. He, fair enough, he can be himself, but he needs to do a lot more media in order to promote himself. Listen, Otherwise, you know, he, you know when it comes to all right, there's one thing to do. There's one thing fighting, and there's one thing promoting and being a trash talker, being able to promote yourself as an individual to get the pay per view advice. Some individuals are just good fighters and they don't have... Listen, Mayweather was an extremely brilliant fighter as well as a very good marketer. He knew how to market himself to get pay-per-view buys. He knew exactly what he needed to do. And he was the first one, you know, in that era that started it. And that's why he's the most famous. People now, everyone just says, oh, he's just caught trying to copy Mayweather. Look at Adrian Broner. Terence Crawford's just being Terence Crawford. He's, he's never going to be a famous. He's never going to be a famous. Even look at Andre Ward. Who knows Andre Ward? You go down the street to California and be like, do you know who Andre Ward is? They'll be like, who's that? Because there's a difference between being a good fighter and being a good marketer. Andre Ward is a legend. He's going to go down as another Hall of Famer. He's undefeated. But he's not going to go down. He, he's not, he, he doesn't do big numbers. Why? First of all, his fighting style is boring. But second of all, he wasn't a good marketer. Mayweather, good marketer, in his early days was a very entertaining fighter. Andre Ward's always been boring. And a lot of the pulling power was to see Mayweather be, get defeated. A lot of the people were tuning in to see Mayweather to get defeated. That's why Mayweather versus Pacquiao did 4.2 million. Plus Pacquiao was a, like, he was, he's massive. Mm. Usually I'd go down the street and be like, do you know who Manny Pacquiao is in America? They'd be like, yeah, he's a, he's a boxer. But there you go, guys. Uh, Crawford v. Khan did 150,000 pay-per-view buys. Fairly poor for two big names in the sport. Uh, but leave your thoughts. It seems like that's American boxing right now. You know, these guys don't have the appeal, don't have the name. But leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.